people, a lot of people that you talk to, they, you know, they watch your fights now, they kind of know about you. And But guys like me, older guys, um, we used to watch you live, you know, watch a lot of these things live. And to me, it's like talking to a legend, absolutely. Truly appreciate it. Uh, I know you hear this thank all the time. I know you hear this nonstop. No, I, thank you. I appreciate it. But you probably like hearing it, right? Oh, yeah, man. I'm, I'm all about my fans. I, I, I love and appreciate my fans. Without yeah, that, listen, there's nothing without them. You've done so much for your fans. You know, listen, you've always, yeah. you've always uh, went that extra step. You've always done a lot of stuff. I wanted to kind of talk to you about other stuff. I want to talk to you about a lot of things, but I mean, I'm not going to keep you long, but I want to, to kind of talk about the different angle, different things that has happened in your life. And some people know it, some people don't know it. And I mean, you post on Instagram sometimes here and there. You like to talk about the fact that, you know, you found peace and you found sobriety and you found good balance in your life, you know, and, it, and it's so impressive, honestly. And the reason why I think people should know more is because, I mean, you know about this very well, and a lot of people are struggling with the same stuff. You know what I mean? A lot of people, like you say it, I, I heard it, I heard you say the same thing that no one is in this thing alone. A lot of people are dealing with the same, you know, with the same issue and the same problem, and no one can kind of beat it alone. I'll tell you why I'm asking is I do, we do a lot of stuff uh, with counseling, we do a lot of stuff where we help people. Um, with with not only substance abuse, we we'll help we we'll help people with uh, you know PTSD. We we'll help people with uh, psychological problems, all kinds of stuff. And and I look at you and your your career. I think to me it takes a very strong person to first of all acknowledge that they got a problem, you know, and then to deal with it. You you've been you've been sober now for how long? Like you you've been really in a good place for like a year or close to that. I'm closing in on nine months. A couple of weeks should be nine months, and um, that's great, brother. That's amazing. You know, life is life is great. I mean, uh, I'm still. Um, it, it really is a, a one day at a time battle. Um, yeah. There's, there's going to be rough days in there, which I'm finding out. Um, uh, that's why you. That's why you say we can't do it. We can't do it alone. While I I went to rehabilitation and I, I got the skills, and w without those skills that I've learned. Um, uh, it, it wouldn't be possible, you know, because, right. uh, right. uh, uh, w with the skills, I think I can succeed with, with, without the skills and what the, without the know-how or how to, how to, how to fight this disease. Um, it, it's going to win. It's yeah. a very powerful, powerful disease. And, 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 uh, we, when, when and it, 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 it's, it's very sneaky, it, it's going to sneak up on you at the, at the, at the craziest times and play games with you and uh uh we got a we got a pretty big family here there's a lot of us out there battling this whole same thing we we all we don't judge each other right. and we just know um it's gonna be tough times you gotta you gotta use your skills mm -hmm. i like to pray uh the lord is the lord is my go-to my higher power and uh he he's the one that has set me free and uh he's taking away the obsession to want to drink that's and, amazing. Uh, he's That's made amazing. it possible. He's made it possible for me to to just no say no. Yeah, yeah. Listen, that's so impressive. I know your friend uh, Wes, right? Wes took you to the uh, to rehab. I, I told you about the rehab or whatever. But uh, you know what's why it's impressive. I think people see even the strongest one of the strongest people out there. Mark Coleman has had to deal with those demons. You know what I mean? Like it's it's amazing that people sometimes don't realize. How, you, you said it perfectly just now. It's sneaky. And you kind of, you know, you keep it social, this, that, and you think, you are, you know, I'm going to have, you know, a relaxing time and this and that. And next thing you know, it becomes a problem where it overwhelms you, even the strongest of us. And I've seen, I mean, and people, you know, like I see individuals here and there for different reasons, but they all have their own different reasons why they came to this, to this point in their life. But they're all, it's seemingly like usually it's depression. It could be some other bunch of factors. Sometimes it's even success. But sometimes it's a quick change in life that that kind of messes them up. But they, they don't really, a lot of people don't realize what the issue is and they just kind of keep going the same way. What's impressive about you, in my opinion, is that you kind of realize that like the old ways can can do it. So you gotta like put a, put a line in the sand, forget about all the BS and, and just like actually acknowledge that there's a problem, I gotta deal with it and, and learn the skills. And 
I think that's why it's impressive. I, I was was going back. I was watching. I think you. I mean, everyone knows about you. You're the first heavyweight champion of the UFC, but you've accomplished so much. And I think what's impressive about you is you you've had ups and downs. Your ups have been so up, in other words, to the point where forget about not just the wrestling. And a lot of people don't realize you had so much success before the UFC. But even then, during UFC, you've reached the pinnacle, right? You've buried at the very top. I think, and I, I look at like because it takes a strong person to take those defeats that you had, and you came back. Next thing you know, you're in Japan, and you're winning again. You won the, the, the Grand Prix in 2000, which I was so amazed. I was looking, I said, man, it's like, it's almost, you know, it felt like a celebration of some sort of someone getting redemption, some kind of coming back, even on a bigger stage at the time. And I think you've had those ups and those downs and you always kind of, um, you know, try to find your way back, always trying to re regain footing. A lot of people don't, a lot of people should look at that as an example. There's nothing you cannot come back from, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you, and a lot of people probably don't think, and I was looking at your career, like I said, I was watching some of these fights, even though you had defeats, you have all kinds of, you know, uh, stories in your life. I was watching this fight and I think you had a fight with Pedro Hizo. And I think that was, for some reason, I, I don't know why, maybe I'm wrong, but I think that was a very disappointing thing to you because I think you, at that point, you were, you felt like you came back and you did the right thing. You did a lot of stuff to kind of rebound and come back. And I think that the, the decision, whatever they did at the time, wasn't your way. And you still found a way to kind of come back. In other words, people have disappointments. And I see people all over, you know, all over the place here that they have these these points that they say, oh, you know what, there's nothing else I can do, man. And there's nothing else I'm able to, to do to rebound, to be the, the person I should be. And then they just give up. And I think that's the point to avoid. And I always tell everybody. And I always try to find examples because I think, like you said, they, you cannot do this alone. You try to do this alone, you're done. Because you only have so much strength, right? Even the strongest part, one of the strongest people out there, man, Mark Coleman. And I know other people, other athletes, other other successful people that have accomplished a lot. They stumble, man. Uh, and and how does it like? I want to ask you. And how did you how did you find the strength? Because I know you had a lot of issues, and probably personally, God knows what else. But how did you find the strength every time to come back? Like even for, for the Japanese thing or any other event that you you rebounded, you came all the way up. That takes a strong one of the strongest people ever. And um. It just wasn't an option for me, um, and that ever, yeah, it, it, never an option for me, just to give up and quit. And uh, uh, you know, I, I, I definitely thought about it. I, I, I never would have thought about committing suicide or anything like that. But I, I definitely was to the point where. Uh, Maybe I just didn't care if I didn't mm -hmm. die. I wasn't trying to kill myself, but I didn't care anymore. And then and, and I just wasn't, I wasn't grateful for, for things that I should have been grateful. I was always wanting more, yeah. you know, and then it's okay to want more, yeah. but, but you have to be grateful for what you have and, and, and work hard to, to achieve more. I got to the point where, um, you know, I, I, um, the, the, the alcohol will make you very sneaky, you know, we can, we can, and, and, yeah. and I was, uh, nobody, I don't think a lot of people knew how, you know, how bad it was with me, but, um, I, I, I wasn't going to give up, but I, at the same time, I didn't want to ask for help. Yeah. You know, too much. Too much pride? Too much pride. Was it pride? Yeah. Probably too much pride and maybe the, the fear of having to change, you know, so maybe it's pride, maybe, but, but for some reason, you know, I, I always, I wanted to, I always wanted to quit, but I just didn't see no reason for it. And yeah. then uh, fortunately for me, uh, I, I, a good friend, it's, it's kind of like on my Facebook messages and stuff like that. I think I was kind of leaving a, a couple small indicators that yeah. I might be struggling. And, uh, and people, good friends picked up on it, right? Maybe, uh, maybe the Lord sent somebody, you know, the Lord sent somebody 
and uh, his best choice I ever made was going into rehabilitation and and pretty much just learning how to live again, yeah. you know, yeah. learning yeah. how to live. And, and, and one of the best things is the biggest things is, 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 is I found out how grateful I really am, how, how amazing of a life I've had blessed. And, um, I, I just don't understand. I don't know why I didn't see it at the time, probably because, uh, I do have a disease. We do have a disease and, and, and it consumed me. Yeah. And, um, um, I just drank and, uh, I tried the other drugs, but alcohol was my go-to, but they're all, they're all very similar. Yeah. And, um, I was just able to find peace and, and be grateful and realize how blessed I've been. I have three daughters. Um, I've, I've UFC champion while, wow, you know, my dream as a kid, something like that. Wonderful parents, wonderful family, you know, um, fortunately I, I wouldn't wish that I never went through that other stuff because if I wouldn't have went through all that, I wouldn't get to feel how I feel today. Yeah. So yeah. I'm glad I went through that. And I always think I'm going to rise back up, but this is by far the toughest fight. And um, it's never going to be over. It's never over until the end, yeah. which I accept that. And I'm not missing out on nothing is what I realized. I'm not missing out on anything. Yeah. Actually, I missed out on a lot of things over the last years. So I'm, 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 uh, I'm back in my hometown with my parents right now. And, um, you know, I come back and see them as often as I can now, my family and my parents, uh, they meant everything to me, but they're for, uh, after my last fight in the UFC, I was lost. You know, I, I didn't know what yeah. to do with myself. I, I was just right. lost. And, uh, the bottle became my, you know, it, it was right there for me. The bottle's always there for me right around the corner. It's really easy to find. Yeah. And he was always there for me, but, um, now I got rid of that girlfriend. So, and listen, that's what it is. Sometimes people don't have another option, like you just said. Imagine, you know, they they got they feel like there's nothing else in life. And like you said, the bottle is always there. The bottle is there. We we do, and I think I told you before. I'm I'm in New Jersey, right there where Mickey Gall and I'm. Uh, we, we're right here, and I see so many people coming from New York, from Pennsylvania, from New Jersey, and we see a lot of. You'd be amazed. We see a lot of veterans. You'd be you'd be surprised. And but to me, like I equate that, I, I feel like you're all also a veteran because even though you had a different war, but you, you had a war in you know in the ring in, in the octagon or whatever. But in these guys, you and them have an equal amount of of, of what you've put out there and you you've uh, struggled. You know what I mean? But it's so so impressive for me to see people like you and I see other people, believe it or not. A lot of people struggle, but I see a lot of people win the fight. And I, like you just said, you know, coming from you, imagine how people will listen to this and they'll be like, well, you, this is your toughest opponent. And you've had opponents all over the world, which are, you know, monsters and giants. But this is it, man. This is this is what it is. And I am so impressed. You have no idea to hear it from you because because you are like you're a legend, like I said, and a lot of people look at it. I think that's why you had I don't think it's pride, but I think it's almost like you were afraid to. To go there to 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 admit to people that you, even you could be you know susceptible to this and and it's crazy to to you know to go this but I, let me ask you one question shame 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 right yeah. is, that, is that the word yeah. shame I know man I know and I, I see right especially for you because you you on such a pedestal in a lot of people's eyes even your especially your friends and family and but fans all over the world right. They don't want to hear that. They want to see Mark Holman the way they know Mark Holman. You know what I mean? The way that he's always been um, an idol. And and I know I know what you mean. It's it's really like a special um, special feeling. But for you to find that that balance, say you know what I can admit what the problem is, and but then you when you overcome it, when you look at this daily battle you're going through, this is what should give you strength. You know what I'm saying? Because you you're an example to a lot of people. Seriously, and what you've accomplished over the last. Uh, months is tremendous man I'm, i wish you i'm always i'm always whatever i can always do is is always um i always try to support people in this in this fight but let me ask you i know and, and a lot of people look at this and i'm just going to ask you if you don't want to answer don't answer me but i know this whole thing going on with ohio state right 
the lawsuit and the whole thing. Do you think my opinion and I always kind of stated, I think there's always some reason why um, you, you had, uh, besides all the events, whatever else, but I think this underlying is, do you think that played any role in, in turning to, the, to, to drinking at all or not? Or you think that's unconnected whatsoever, man? Well, it, it, it definitely didn't help. I mean, I, I, I think I was born to be an alcoholic. Uh, I think I was born an alcoholic, but um, maybe that um, just, just, it, 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 it maybe it fast paced me to, uh, to, to advance a little bit faster, but I'm not going to say uh, that made me an alcoholic, but I no, think, uh, no. I think I have the gene and then, and I think, um, um, but it, it, it definitely, uh, it, it gave me reason to think that I can drink today. It gave me reason maybe to feel like, all right, well, I can have a drink today because I had a rough day, you know, but there's, there's no, there's no good reason to have a drink. No, I, I, it may be predisposition. Like you said, maybe it's some gene or whatever, but I think those events that kind of, everyone kind of don't want to talk about it, you know, because it's, it's, it's such an ugly topic, but. I think it played. I think it destroyed a lot of people mentally, and I do. I see this all over the place, and I think it kind well, it of definitely, like, it, it, you know it definitely I mean? destroyed me. But I, I'm just not going to use that for my excuse for for no. being a drink. But yes, the the, the Ohio State uh, lawsuit situation it, it it has been devastating on me. But um, um, you know, I I, I take all I fight all my battles, and uh, but yeah. this one, uh, you know, that one, um. We, we, whatever whatever happens happens i mean i i'm not control of that so that's what i've learned in my rehabilitation i cannot control a lot of things and uh probably uh something like this uh, before i went to rehabilitation uh yes i was very angry you know you know i, I was very angry about all this and then and so obviously it had a, a little bit of a role but um, mm -hmm. a lot of things added to 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 why I, yeah, I I'm sure. ended I'm up sure. where I ended up, but I'm just very happy now that uh, I have found peace and uh, I am so grateful. I had such a great life for life is, is, is it's what you make it. And uh, I, I've just decided I'm going to, I'm going to make it good. Yeah. Mark, what are you doing these days? You train, you train uh, people. What, what's your name? That, that's where I find my peace. That's where I belong. I belong in a gym. That's where I'm, yeah. uh, that's, that's where, um, I'm confident to say that I'm very good at what I do when I'm in a gym, uh, motivating other athletes to become, live their dreams. That's what I love. And, and, and that's what I do best. And, um, I got uh, about four or five pro athletes that I'm, I'm training firsthand right now for UFC fights coming up and bare knuckle boxing coming up. And, uh, uh, that's where I'm at peace. And, 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 and I, I was doing that kind of stuff. I was coaching uh, while drinking. And uh, I thought I was doing a great job, but uh, probably in hindsight, I do everything. I do everything, everything better sober. Everything I 100%. do is better sober. You're probably like more an autopilot because you could train people in your sleep. But um, I think when you're really, when you're sober, you're really into it and you really enjoy it, I think. Because you become really a, it's, going it's, on. it's very, it's incredibly passionate right now. I mean, the, uh, I mean. Uh, it's very personal. Me and these guys that I train, I take it very seriously and very personal. And, uh, you know, part of, the, part of me is in that cage with them. You know, I mean, yeah. I, um, I don't, I'm not living through these guys, but I, I tell you what, it, it, it definitely gives me a boost. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm grateful to be able to, I'm I grateful that I, have this, I have this kind of knowledge and wisdom that I can pass on to people. It's, it's oh, a blessing. Sure. I didn't know what I had. I, I didn't, after fighting was over, I didn't know what I could do. I, I thought was lost. I didn't know what am I going to do now? Well, um, I've been blessed with all this wisdom and knowledge. Well, I got to get yeah. paid from these guys. These fighters got to win so they can pay me, but uh, I can make a living doing what I love and enjoy. And, uh, you know, trying to, I was my own coach, but uh, um, try to push these guys a little harder than I pushed myself. So, we, you know, live, live their dream and, and keep them off the streets. I think it's more than money. I think it's, listen, you've, you've helped a lot of people. Forget about, I mean, some names. I'm not even going to go there. But, I mean, you had a lot of, you've affected a lot of lives. These guys now, they know, like, an, an advice coming from you. They know, you know, you got experience. Forget about anything else. You got more experience than anybody in the building, probably. So, that when they hear that, and I think it goes, like you said, things you love and things you've overcome. 
took you to this to this point. God gives us all different tests. And I always hear that that God doesn't give someone a test unless God thinks he can overcome that test, right? Yeah. So God gave you all the tests right you had, man. Yeah. You had all these yeah. tests and yeah. God somehow knew you could take it, you know. That's a, that's a that's a real good point. He he's gonna test you. Yeah. But it's not but you, it's your not, test is gonna be different than my test. Handle. It's not one that you can't handle. That's what you gotta realize. You um, personally. I couldn't handle probably the test you've had in your life. You know what I'm saying? Each person has their own battles, their own demons. So each person has to look inside, I think, and 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 realize what those battles are and look at other people's examples, and look at everyone's help and, and really be grateful for what they got. Listen, Mark, I truly appreciate it. I hope to talk to you again. I don't know when we're going to set it up and we're going to do this. You can talk anytime. Do the same time. I enjoyed this. I appreciate you giving me a call. I I, I enjoyed this quite a bit. We could talk anytime. I appreciate it, Mark. And I think it's tremendous help for everybody. You have no idea. Yeah. We got you gotta give back. You gotta help. That's that's what life's all about. You gotta give back and help people, or otherwise, uh totally, man. You know, it's not all it's not all about me and you, it's about everybody. hundred percent. Mark, appreciate it. We'll be in touch. Thanks so much. Man. All right, thank you. Surely. Have a good day. You too.